always be a part of who I am. Everything I've known, every seed of greatness you have sown. Through good and bad, your love has watched me grow. You teach me right from wrong, inspire me to be strong. You carry it everywhere in my heart. You will always stay in this moment. Let me say. You are here to guide my way when I'm lost beside me. Stay in this moment. Happy Tuesday to all Huskies who are out there listening to Morning Meeting. I am Dr. Sawyer and I am joined today by Miss Victor. Let's say again, Happy Tuesday. That song was something that Miss Victor actually found as a nice song to share about our teachers and sharing gratitude this week during Teacher Appreciation Week. Husky. A quote that Ms. Victor and I liked, we cannot become what we want to be by remaining what we are. Max Debris. Husky. So again, I say happy Tuesday to all of you. We continue with our focus on being reflective, which is one of our IB Learner profile traits. Um, and this week we think about where we are in our learning. Uh, on Friday, you should be getting a progress update in each of your classes. Remember, they're gonna look different this week as we talked about yesterday. Your progress updates are not gonna be A, B, C, D, F, those kind of grades. Instead, you're gonna get where you are in each of the standards. Um, so remember, standards are what you have to learn in the grade level to be successful for your next grade level. So you'll get an update on those, on your learning in each of those standards from each of your teachers on Friday. Speaking of teachers, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. So we want to remind you, send your teachers an email, send them a Google voice text, make a TikTok. I know several of you have already started. It means so much to all of us Huskies when you recognize us and you share with your teachers, excuse me, how much they mean to you. Um, I wanna give you an update on construction. And in just a minute, you're gonna hear some exciting updates on what is gonna be new on our campus next year. And this week, I'm told that some teachers will be joining us. So for this week, you'll get to hear from some of your teachers. Husky. And I mentioned that we are gonna get some renovations at Hamilton, yay! So we're gonna get a lot of exciting things are gonna be worked on over the summer um, for us to be able to have a, a remodeled campus when we all come back in person. Um, so there's a list of some of the things you can look forward to, including library redesign. And I'm gonna show you a picture of that in a minute. New paint throughout the whole building, uh, new classroom furniture. So in a lot of the classrooms, you'll see new furniture, whiteboards, locking cabinets, restaurant, uh, restaurant, excuse me, restroom renovations. And you know, that was, we heard from our students, that was your top request is to have new bathrooms. And we're really excited that you're going to be seeing, um, you know, I think places that will be much more um, modernized and you, I think, will feel a lot safer and more valued which we're really excited about. New drinking fountains with filters, so you can bring in bo uh, water bottles now and fill up your water bottles, but you still have to be on time to class. And then lastly, new uh, outdoor areas. So they're gonna be, uh, I've heard solar shading, so you can go and stand outside under shade. Um, I'm, I'm hearing they're gonna be new basketball courts, which I think will be pretty exciting, and some other new renovations as well. We're really excited to see everybody back on campus. We can't wait to see those new renovations. Husky. There's a glimpse at some of the new furniture for the library. And you can see there are places where you can sit and read a book. You can sit and do projects with your fellow Huskies. Lots of different and exciting renovations. 
Husky. And I'm going to turn it over in a minute to Miss Victor. I also wanted to mention I heard that the lockers, the locks and the lockers are all going to be fixed. So that way we don't have to have the continued challenge with our uh, locks that I know some of you have. Good morning, Miss Victor. Good morning, Dr. Sawyer. Good morning, Huskies. So we have for you a kindness activity today, and it's a gratitude journal. And so yesterday you had a kindness jar. So today we want you to work on this gratitude journal. Did you know that naming three new things you are grateful for each day for 21 days can literally change your brain chemistry? Noticing and reflecting on things we are thankful for can train our minds to focus on the good happening around us. So here's a simple gratitude journal. You might want to ask a friend to do this with you or your family could start or end your day with a thankful reflection. Notice if you grow in gratitude over this time. So keep spreading hope, help, and strength. So your gratitude journal. And our learner pro, learner, uh, IB learner profile, as Dr. Sawyer said, is about being reflective. And this means giving thoughtful consideration to your own learning and experience. Try to understand your strengths and limitations in order to support your learning and personal development. We never stop learning, Huskies. And so when you receive your remote learning progress updates this Friday, think about how you can reflect to ensure that you are meeting your goals or make a plan to meet them by the end of the year. It's never too late. So your wellness activity is simple exercises while sitting. So we've been spending a lot of time sitting in front of the computer for long periods of time each day. And we know that can be a little bit stressful. So here are a couple of simple exercises you can do to help relieve stress. Remember them and do them two or three times a day when sitting for long periods of time. So the first one is called a foot drill. Remember how football players tap their feet in place while at practice? Well, you can do the same thing at your desk or sitting on the sofa or sitting at the dining room table or even sitting on the edge of your bed. Try tapping your feet for 30 seconds at a time. Then shoulder raises is another one. And these are a great way to relieve tension in your neck. I don't know about you, but after sitting at the computer for long periods of time, I always have tension in my neck and my shoulders. So you're gonna raise your shoulders up towards your ear, hold for 10 seconds and then relax. For an even bigger stretch, do just one shoulder at a time, then alternate five times each. So try these to help relieve stress. And so here's how your suggested schedule will look today. It's Tuesday, okay? Get up, have breakfast, watch the morning meeting and set up your learning space. You're gonna check in with your Green Day teachers and take attendance in green classes and complete one to two assignments and go to live office hours. 11.30 to 12.30, lunch and wellness activity, 12.30 to 1.30, self-care, write in your journal. Do the gratitude journal that you have for your wellness activity. 1.30 to 2, read. Read for 30 minutes. Then complete another assignment or work on your gratitude, gratitude journal, journal or your wellness activity if you want. 3 to 4, check your email. Check back in with teachers. And make sure you have turned in at least two assignments. Remember, go to office hours. Ms. Moreland also wants to remind all students that deans have office hours as well. And so the deans have office hours from 11 to 12 and one to three each day. Their office hours are different from teachers so that you can do both if you'd like. Back to Dr. Soria. Thank you, Ms. Victor. And I do hope that all Huskies visit with your deans. We love our deans at Hamilton. All right, reminder, show some love to your teachers. Write at least two teachers an email today expressing how much they mean to you. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. If you do make a TikTok or a video message, send it to Ms. Victor or me. We'd love to see your TikTok. We might even make one too. You never know. Let's remember who we are. We are the community of Hamilton Middle School. Let's make it a great day. Go Huskies. Huskies.
So this Victor, I did hit.